Why would they do that? Joining us is Sapna Maheshwari, BuzzFeed retail reporter, as well as our own Phil LeBeau. Phil, is this Ford's attempt to be cool, OMG? I don't know if it's an attempt to be cool. I, listen, I saw the report. I listened in as they were going over a lot of the features of the forecast for trends that they see impacting the auto industry. And frankly, there was a very little here that stood out and you said, wow, I, I can't believe that somebody came up with this. Uh, a lot of it is a lot of, yeah, we all kind of know that. And when I've discussed this with auto dealers and others in the auto industry, everybody says the same thing, which is, yeah, we kind of know that already. So I, I'm not sure the use of FOMO or JOMO uh, is necessarily a, a, a big deal. I mean, certainly FOMO and JOMO, my parents would just scratch What's their heads. It can't, a joy of missing out, like, you know, putting your car on do not disturb so that you can't get, you know, I don't know, go straight to voicemail or something. But Sapna, here's the thing, you know, FOMO and JOMO would never resonate with parents you know, that generation probably don't even know what it is. So they're clearly trying to tap into the youth market, but do you think that youths really care that much about cars these days? I get the feeling that they're more excited about technology and, and, and gadgets as opposed to a new car. Am I wrong there? I mean, that, that's what a lot of studies are showing. It's, it's showing that young people, um, maybe 20-somethings, aren't so interested in buying cars, they're not really seeing them as the status symbols that they used to be, and are maybe judging each other more on the technology that they own, whether it's an iPhone or a flip phone, and so on. And so I think companies like Ford and other automakers are really trying to show that they're with it and and hip and cool and can use words like FOMO and JOMO and somehow incorporate it into their product. I've got an idea here, Phil. Why doesn't Ford just build better cars when you can get... They're good cars. That, well, I know, listen, and that's the bottom line. They, actually, they have the best looking lineup front to back okay. of any they, car well, listen. And you know what? My, my uncle worked there for decades, so he was a total Ford guy. I'm not bashing Ford, but when you can pay starting price 30 k for beautiful Mercedes CLA, I would rather that than a Ford. Sorry. The bottom, agree, line, the bottom line here is that you have to build better product. You go back and look at the Taurus before Alan Mulally, really when he first came in, he said, let's bring the Taurus back. That was a dog. Not just a dog, a dog with fleas, which is why it wasn't selling. <laughs> they have a refreshed lineup now that works. That's why sales are up. JOMO and FOMO are great for talking about marketing. They're not using that for marketing these vehicles, especially to younger buyers. They are trying to use technology to reach younger buyers. But at the end of the day, if you don't have a decent car or truck, you're not going to do well. That's why Ford is doing well. They have better cars and trucks now. Phil and Sapna, thank you very much. I still remain... Re reply my Probably. call to bring back the AMC Hornet. This thing was 17 feet tall.